What's going on team and welcome to a description about what agents are within the Langchain language. Now, what I have in front of me here is the overview uh, slide that uh, describes what Langchain is. And you see it sits in the middle here between your language or your uh, large language models like OpenAI and your tools. Now think of agents as like bots that take actions on your behalf. And they're really cool because they're gonna start to chain together different actions uh, in Langchain. Now, a key uh, concept within agents is a term that we call tools. Now, tools are gonna be like these little arrows right here. And what these arrows do is they actually connect the Langchain language to your different external sources. So we're gonna look at a few of these today and I'll show a few description or in other videos, I'll show other examples of those. So if you're curious about how other tools are used, uh, jump over to other videos or let me know. Now, if we're looking at some code here, again, uh, and I realize that that is a pain in the butt. So apologies on that. Let me just get off to the side right there. Um, so agents, uh, they make OpenAI do things for you. So within an agent, there's three key concepts. There's the tool, which is just what we talked about, which is basically like an interface between a, a language model and an external source. There's your actual language model that you're gonna be using. And then there's the type of agent that you wanna be using. Now, we're just gonna be using one generic agent type. I encourage you to go look at other agent types if you have uh, more specific questions on that. Let's jump into some descriptions of the tools. Now, what's cool is as of February, 2023, Langchain supports these different tools right here. And now you can start to see the really interesting use cases about what we can do with them. Uh, for example, SERP API, that's how you can go and do Google searches. Uh, you can go and query Wolfram. You can go and do requests, which is basically like going to be your portal to the internet. And you can do some really awesome other things here. Like for example, uh, you can get, there's a weather API. So you can say, what is the current weather in San Francisco? And it'll go and do it for you. Now in this video, we're going to go over just one of them. And in a separate video, we're going to go over uh, more of these, but today we're going to look at the SERP API one. And so let's jump into some code here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import Langchain agents and I'm gonna import load tools. And this is a way where you can tell um, Langchain what tools do you wanna use for your specific use case. And I already did um, set my open AI API key and SERP API key as environment variables. But the way you would do that is you would import OS. And in fact, let me put that down there. You would import OS and then uh, set them after replacing right there. Cool, I'll go ahead and run, run that. And then next I'm gonna actually create an instance of my language model. And in this case, I'm going to uh, set a variable LLM to OpenAI and with a temperature of zero. And temperature of zero means that it's gonna be deterministic or more deterministic meaning that you'll get the same result over and over again. Now you may be wondering where this open AI comes from. I initialized it uh, up here at the top. Cool, so this is where it gets, uh, the fun part starts. We have tool names and you'll see that I created a list here. And the reason why I created a list is because you can often add multiple tools within the same agent. And this is very helpful for if you need to go query the web and then you need to go um, check Google for something or whatever it may be. In this case, we're just using one of the tools, which is the SERP API tool. And then we're going to use the function load tools into a set of tools here. And then we're going to uh, initialize our agent and we're going to pass the tools that we use, which is the SERP API. We're going to pass our language model, which we've already used, and we're going to pass an agent type here or an agent. And the one that we're going to use for this tutorial is going to be the zero shot react uh, description one. And this is a very generic model that is kind of good for a lot of different use cases. There's others if you uh, find that you need this. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to say verbose equals true. And this means that the um, model will uh, output the text to us as it's thinking about it. So we can kind of see what the what its thought process is. And so let's run, first of all, let's run this. And then I'm gonna run what is Langchain. Now, before I do that, I want to say, set up the problem one more time. And if I go over here and I say, what is Langchain over to chat GPT? Um, it doesn't know, basically. As a language model, it's not aware of a technology called Langchain. And this is a problem. It starts telling me about blockchain. I don't want anything about that. and that makes sense because that's the chain, name chain in there. And the reason why this is a problem is because OpenAI chat GPT, as it stands right now, is not connected to the internet past or hasn't been trained on data past 2021. So that's no good. But because I'm using LangChain to go query Google, we should be able to get more up-to-date information. So I'm gonna say agent.run, what is LangChain? And so it's gonna go do a Google search. There's searches for LangChain and we get an observation, which is gonna be the output of it. 
And so now the thought that it has is I know what Langchain is and it has a final answer, which is going to spit, spit it out to me. And it's going to say Langchain is a platform that provides standard interfaces for chains, et cetera, et cetera. Now I can confirm this and I can go, what is Langchain? And if I say, what is Langchain? You can see here that it pop, uh, got me the uh, top result, which is as expected and, and, and what we wanted there. Now, just to show what it would look like if we did verbose, uh, if we didn't do verbose equals true, we go ahead and create those and then run those. I like verbose equals true though, so I can see what's going on. Let's give this a sec. You can see it's thinking and it just spits out the answer for me. So it's cool, but it's it's not as fun to see what's going on underneath the hood. Now, the next thing that I'll do is I'm gonna say, who is the CEO of Pipe? Now, in order to show you uh, why this is an issue, let me do a new chat here. Why this is an issue is because if I ask chat GPT, who is the CEO of Pipe, which is a FinTech technology company here in the Bay Area, it's gonna tell me that it is Harry Hurst. However, it knows that the information probably has changed since then which actually in this case is gonna be true. And so I'm gonna go ahead and run this and it looks like I kept verbose equals off for this one. So it says, Luke Vo Voiles, Voiles is the CEO of Pipe. Well, let's go check out who's the actual CEO of Pipe since there's a discrepancy and it's gonna be Luke. Cool, interesting. So that is how you use uh, agents within Lang chain to go and do things for you and start to uncover the, uh, the, the fun magic there. Now, I don't want to go through too many examples. Check out the next video to see how we're going to use the Wolfram Alpha, Alpha uh, tool in order to query more scientific information. See you later.